Yo, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well. Thanks so much for checking out the video. I want to make a short video and talk about some new updates that I have regarding um, navigation. Um, talk about some new Garmin products that I've been rocking for a while, uh, including this watch, this Phoenix 7 Pro. Insanely awesome. Um, but we're going to talk about GPS. We're going to talk about um, some lighting as well, like controlling your lighting. There's just some updates in the cab I want to share with you all, so let's do it. So inside the truck, I'll show y'all some goodies we got going on. There I am. You can see me two times. Whoa. This is the Garmin Tread, and it's the 10-inch version. So there's a couple different ones. And I actually had the 5-inch um, the one, I think, is a smaller one, something like that, 4.5, 5. Uh, and I actually had that, if you remember, mounted over here. Um, that worked great. It was a little bit small just to see, like, you know, uh, detail on the maps. So I really like this bigger screen, and it really helps visibility, and um, it's just easier. Plus, my inReach is integrated into this, so you don't have to buy those little orange Garmin inReaches anymore. Um, this is kind of all built in one, which is really, really cool. So anyway, I took that um, out of the truck, and now I just have a spare little dash mount for whatever my phone there's one here for my phone or i can put my walkie over there whatever so this is what i want to talk about and some of the features of this thing because i posted some stuff on instagram and you guys are actually a lot more curious than i thought you would be excuse me so we're going to go over this and i i've been using this for probably three months now and I'm sick of people when they, right when they buy a product, they're like, it's the best thing ever. Well, you don't know that because you haven't tested it. So I, uh, I've given this thing at least 90 days of use. And um, so I'm going to kind of talk to you about it with my experience. On the subject of Garmin, like I said, first, I've been rocking this Phoenix watch. And I wouldn't say I'm a watch guy. I mean, I have a couple nice watches, but this thing is insane. The battery life is unreal. Um, I know this isn't really Overland content, but it's I don't know, the same brand. I'm kind of buying into the Garmin family, but uh, they're they're awesome. This is the Sapphire Glass, and I've been very I've worked in the engine bay with this thing on, and I don't know how like physically how, but there's no like look at that. There's literally no scratches. I, I don't understand, but insane this thing charges with solar like when you're outside it'll charge um it's got a flashlight let me try to do this it's got a flashlight i've checked that out heartbeat monitors your sleep all that kind of stuff this thing's insane anyway off topic this is the garmin tread so let's just look at the device itself so the hardware like this thing feels insane it's super premium it's like all rubberized um, it's waterproof, weatherproof up to, you'll have to see the exact specs, but this thing is really built. I mean, it can be like mounted in a side by side or something and, and be fine to the weather. The other cool thing is this mount. I mean, this really seals the deal. So it's magnet first. So see, it's a, it's a direct magnet. And then you press this guy and it like hyper locks it in. So it's gangster. So here's kind of my view when I'm driving something like this. So I mounted it to where it's not clouding my field of vision. You know, I'm not a being a dangerous driver or anything like that. It's it's in a great spot. So the on off button is back here. I have it mounted or I have the power going to the cigarette lighter. It's going over here kind of nice and neat. But I'll give you a quick little tour and I'm not this isn't, you know, a how to video or anything like that. I just want to give you guys a general overview of this device and why I like it. So sort of my methodology here. Um, unfortunately, my Tacoma does not have CarPlay. I can't use Onyx in this head unit. So Onyx is the, um, the map app that I use for off-road trails. 
And if you guys aren't on Onyx by now, I don't know how you, you're not because, like, their marketing, they're everywhere. Everybody uses them, and it's for good reason. I used to have Gaia. It, it works okay. It's a little cumbersome for me, but Onyx is super simple, and it's very shareable. And why I say all this is you can use Onyx um, directly on CarPlay, which is totally the move. Like, if you have a CarPlay capable vehicle you got to use onyx in it it's so nice unfortunately i don't have that so i actually use onyx right here on my phone um i can put my phone here whatever like i said earlier but i use that for off-road specific trails now this is cool because this gets me to the trailhead so this is like turn by turn regular gps um regular gps like you know you're typing in google on your phone or something i use this for turn by turn to get to the trailhead like i said but the other purpose amongst many others is this power switch and it's probably going to take a second because i've just um turned it on well it's already there so this is the tread um uh system so this like has a bluetooth device uh in the engine bay kind of like a switch pro sort of scenario but you can wire up I don't know if you can see the reflection on the fence there. Yeah, definitely. So you can wire up your lights right here and everything's on your screen and you can move these around. You can title them something different. Um, you can adjust these to be strobe. Like I have this strobe right here. Let's see if I can do LP9 strobe. So you can check that out. You can change the strobe duration. It's awesome. Um, you can change these icons. It's basically like an iPhone, you know, when you can change your apps and stuff like that on, on your home screen. Very cool. Change the colors, whatever. You can also do different modes. So let's say, like, I wanted to do a nighttime mode, and this is nighttime. I can click nighttime, and I can actually program it to make certain lights come on, a combination of lights. That's pretty rad. Got my rock lights there. So this is cool because they're big, huge buttons, so when you're driving... Let's say you want to strobe your buddy or whatever. You can just reach over there and tap it um, instead of like a tiny little switchboard that you may have mounted somewhere that you might have to like find with your finger. You can just kind of, it's just easier. What else on this thing? So that's the a huge thing. That's the Garmin power switch. I may have said tread earlier. I think it's called power switch. Um, the other thing, inReach. And that's funny. It's not signed in, but your inReach is built in here, like I said, so you you don't have to buy that a, a device, you know, with a GPS device. It's all in one. Pretty nice. Back to the mount, just because it popped back in my head. If you're parking this thing, you're parking your truck and you're worried about somebody breaking in and stealing this, like I said, you can just pop that mount off, throw it in the glove box, and, you know, you're not looking very conspicuous. Or you're looking conspicuous? You're inconspicuous. I don't know. Uh, okay, so here's kind of the GPS stuff. Where to, you can put, you know, obviously just where you want to go. Very easily you can move these around. There's different categories and things. Um, there's integrations with iOverlander. There's RV parks. There's national parks. It's just very robust and thought out. Let's see. There's pitch and roll. There's just little things, like a bunch of little things that are really, really cool. You can swipe, and you get all this data data here i cannot talk today um you can put a bunch of apps here but it, it's just really powerful um the battery lasts a good bit oh the other cool thing is because this is removable like you can take this up into your tent if you want to i don't know if you want to turn on a light or something from the tent something spooked you i don't know at night or whatever you can do that you can also download the power switch app and do it from your phone but um just that capability is there I'm sure I'm missing some features on this Garmin, but I just wanted to show you guys a really, really rough and dirty overview of what this thing does. Back to, again, how I use this thing. So I have Onyx as my, my off-road maps here. And again, while I'm driving, like to get to the trails, that's not on. Um, I use this for that. And once I hit the trails, I pull up um, Onyx. If you have wired wireless CarPlay, I strongly suggest you put Onyx um, you can run it through your car. That's definitely the way to do it. Um, and then what's cool is you can have this screen to be all your, your lights, and then you can use this for Onyx and, um, you know, kind of kind of do both there. All right, now real quick, I'm going to show you the power switch, um, little device that the, it, this Bluetooths to in the engine bay. And then I almost forgot, I'm going to show you guys this 
insanely nice rear view camera. It's, it's two cameras in one, 4K. It's amazing. I get a ton of questions about this on Instagram. I almost just ended the video and forgot to talk to you about this, but hang tight. So we'll go over here and I will show you. I will show you that I need hood struts because this is very impossible with one hand. All right, here we go. So this right here is the Garmin. So check that out. Very cool. So this little plate goes on there. So that's how you can easily manage and wire new accessories up. And it just pairs automatically to that little unit inside. And the longest I've seen this kind of pairing happen is like 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds. So it's not, there's a leaf. It's not terrible. Um, so love it. Very nice. Um, okay, let's talk about this uh, rear view camera because it's gangster. Give it a second. Maybe, there we go. Okay, this is the Wolfbox G9. Sorry, I got cut off there. My uh, Bluetooth connected to my truck. So this is the Wolfbox G900. If you like this one, like the one exactly I'm describing, make sure you get the G900 because there are a bunch of different models. Um, this one is 4K. It goes directly over. I don't know if you can see this. It goes over your factory mirror. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, with some little rubber straps and you can just run the cords basically through there and it's nice and neat and I have mine going uh, Right there into a cigarette lighter So it comes on every time I turn on the truck you can put these little like Like your HUD or whatever you can you can decide if you want that on there or not It is recording so it has this loop where you put a memory card in there This is a dash cam so the front camera right here is a dash cam and it's always running so it's on a loop of like i don't know 60 seconds or so and so if you get in a wreck or somebody does something stupid you have that on film um, all the time just like this dude behind me it's my rear view camera he's moving and then over here you have um, some more info again you can decide if you want that or not so you can swipe on this thing there, there's the dimness so that's the front camera um, what's weird is when you do this huge view, it's not the fisheye. It's like a zoomed in sort of camera. Um, but if you keep swiping, like that's the rear camera and that's full wide view. Swipe again. And now they're flipped. So I got the front and then the back, but, but if you'll notice, this is like a, um, fisheye. So I prefer the fisheye cause it's a wider view and Let's see, this is how I run it normally, right here. The rear right here, because I need to see this more than the front. And this is just there just to have, but, so I'm sitting here driving and I can see clear as day, um, anybody behind me. It's just really nice and it's, it's very simple to wire up and I'll show you the camera actually in the back in a second. Um, this little guy is the, the GPS, which gives you um, data for how fast you're going, your direction, like your mouse power your direction, the time, all that kind of stuff. You can run it unplugged if you don't want those features. Um, this is like a $250 unit, something like that. But I love it, dude. It's It has been sweet. I kind of want this in like all my cars. But that is that. Um, any more features here? So you can, um, let's say you got in a wreck. You can press, I think, this button, and it'll take, it'll save like the last clip or something there's a bunch of features like that it'll do um, there's settings here there's your screen uh, brightness your sensitivity a bunch of stuff so it's really nice I recommend it so let's go to the back and I'll show you how this is uh, my camera so the way I have this for my rear camera is it's coming out of one of those grommets it's running this way it's in one of these wires it's going up, it's like one of these skinny ones or something. It's going up the KC wire hider. It's going up this way. It's running, let's see, see that little wire way back there? It's sitting right there and it's running on top. And 
this is the camera. So I kind of mounted this. This mount is mine that I made, but this is uh, it's just sitting right there. You can kind of tighten it down and and use it, but you can move that thing anywhere. I mean, you can put it in your tire, you can put it on your license plate, whatever. I do have the factory backup camera in my truck still. That's just the backup camera, but this is an anytime camera. So that is that. Very cool. Go check it out. Um, I think that's all I have for you. Yeah, this is kind of a quick and dirty video. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I try to answer them as best as I can. I'm sure I'm leaving things out as always, but uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. See you in the next video.